what is the correct spacing for passion fruit? But first, let us look what is spacing. It refers to a distance of the plant between and within in laws. Spacing is not just a space between your crops. It is an adequate feed area or the most convenient area required by a particular plant or your passion fruit to thrive and do well. When your passion fruit is not properly spaced, they tend to compete for growth enhancement parameters like water, nutrients, and air. And hence, correct spacing increases the crop yield and reduces the cost of production. So make sure that you have the correct spacing. There are two types of spacing. So we have interspacing and intraspacing so interspacing is the space between rows where intraspacing is the space within a row the space between the first line and the second line is your interspacing and the spacing between the crop on each line is your intraspacing before I give the figures, I need to make something clear here. There are factors that determine spacing. And one of those factors is uh, soil fertility. So if your soil is fertile, you have to increase the spacing rather than when planting in a place where your soil is not fertile. Also, we have Pest and disease control, number two. So you have to know uh, what are the diseases and uh, pests involved in your farm before doing the spacing. Number three, we also have moisture availability. Does your soil contain enough moisture to hold that crop? If it has more moisture, then you tend to increase the spacing. Then we also have the number of uh, seeding seedlings per hole so the number of seedlings per hole is the vine per hole so how many seedlings have you put in a per hole some people tend to put two so if you have pressed two then you have to increase the spacing so if you have used one seedlings per hole then you have to put the correct spacing so those are the four factors that determines uh, the spacing required for passion fruit. So we we the most recommended spacing is three by two meters. So three meters by two meters or nine feet by six feet. So that is the recommended spacing. That is three meters by two meters or nine feet by six feet. That is nine feet inter spacing and six feet inter spacing so they they can change in accordance to those factors that i've talked about so if the soil is fertile then you tend to increase the spacing if it's a little bit not fertile so you can reduce the spacing or you can remain with the same sp spacing so if the pest and disease control, sometimes there are different type of diseases. Some may tend to reduce the spacing or others may tend you need to increase the spacing. So thank you for watching. Let's meet in the ne next video.